What's good, YouTube? It's your boy and live live in effect back in the building. Welcome back to a brand new video. Yes, sir, ski. Man, we hype today. We hype today. We fucking hype today. Today's the 25th. That means it's Nick's opening day. Yes, sir. We got Boston. <laughs> we finna pack them up. We're gonna get into that. We're gonna talk about opening night. You know how we rocking. This this a new little it's not a series, but we just wanna play unlimited and talk basketball, you know what I mean? Cause we all love basketball, so that's what we finna do here. Before we get into anything, this is the starting lineup. This is the team we added Paulo Bencaro. We got him from the packs. I'm still on the hump for a backup center. I put George Mikan in at my starting center. I haven't used him yet, but we're gonna see how he do. Kevin Love gotta get up out of here. I've been saying that for the longest. I just haven't found a replacement for him. Blake Griffin Small. So we gotta do some things to the lineup, but this is the squad. Before we get into that though, we got some new packs. We gotta open we got like three packs you know we got this promo pack we're gonna run through these real quick who we get who we get who we get who we got this random ass basketball pack hopefully it's a knicks ball i haven't gotten a knicks ball yet and they really hoeing me i feel like they give me everybody but the knicks the detroit pistons like what are we doing and now we just got this from the season pass which i believe is kevin McHale, which is a center so we could possibly bump him into the backup center position oh he a power forward Oh, I don't think he better than Kevin Love, so Kevin Love staying in the lineup. I mean, we're going to see, but, you know what I mean? He could play center, but I don't know. I think we good because he just, he don't look like he could hoop. His build not like that, so let's just get straight to it, though. All right, he got a little squad on him, but he's 2-8. and eight. He's 2-8, and eight, we 6-4. and four. My dude is playing with glasses on. What the fuck? He got that Tim Duncan. I've been wanting this card. I ain't going to lie. But like I was saying, though, it's October 25th, Knicks opening day. We got Boston. It's going to be a tough game. I ain't going to lie. It's, it's going to be a tough game. That's a crazy shot, but it's money. Boston look good. They got Drew Holiday, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Derek White, Porzingis. Like, Porzingis going to do work. I ain't going to lie. I don't think Mitchell Robinson is going to be guarding Porzingis. I'm confident in my team. I think we're going to get it done. Shout out to all my Knicks fans. You know what I'm saying? We outside. Now, we lost some depth. You know what I mean? We got rid of OB Toppin. We don't really got a backup power for it right now. And I personally feel like that's going to be a problem. We got Isaiah Hartenstein coming to back up Randall. Like, he can't back up Randall. You know, no offense to I Heart, but you just, you, you, you not like OB. Now, look, a lot of Knicks fans is upset because we got rid of OB. But, like, did y'all see that boy in the playoffs? Like, was we watching the same thing? My man was playing no defense and airball. Like, my man was taking wide open. I know. I was there. I was at the game. I was at one game. But, like, bro was wide open just sitting in the corner and airballing. And then getting back and playing no defense. He ain't know who to guard. Now, don't get me wrong. I think Obi Toppin got potential, but just the Knicks wasn't the right team for him. And I think he gonna go crazy on the Pacers. But I ain't gonna lie, though. It's lit. My guy, Jalen Brunson. Oh, hell no. Nah. Mello? This is the first time the Knicks had a starting point guard for the two years in a row since like 1999. So I'm excited to see what we do. Hey, Paulo, come on, man. I'm playing like a re-re right now. I'm glad Knicks got Jalen Brunson. I ain't gonna lie. When we first signed him, I was doubting it a little bit. He had his good run in Dallas, but he, he showed up. Hopefully he could carry us to the playoffs this year. Now, there's been a lot of talks about us trading for Embiid. I ain't gonna lie. The packages we talking about are crazy. I mean, we talking about giving up Barrett, Randall, Quentin Grimes, Evan Fournier, Mitchell Robinson, and some picks. Like, bro, now look, if we could give up like Randall, Fournier, Mitch, and a pick, a first round, I'll do it. But like, ain't no way I'm giving up all that, bro. And beat already 30. Now look, I'll trade Randall for him because we got money tied up with Randall. He's a little older as well. I mean, he's not as old as Embiid. I think Embiid is only a little bit older than Randall, so the trade, like, kind of balance out. I just feel like Embiid would be more effective because we really, not that Mitchell Robinson is bad, but we kind of slacking at the center position, you feel me? We don't got no offensive-minded center. Like, Mitch is just there to kind of, like, do center shit, like, grab rebounds and block. That's it. Like, he not really scoring. He not pulling it or nothing. So I think it'll be a good trade for us. The only problem is that now we don't got a backup forward if we get rid of Randall. So it's like, what are we going to do? And we getting rid of some depth. So it's tough. It's a tough trade. The front office, they got to make a tough decision. I'd be happy if we could get Embiid, but we just can't do what we did with like the Melo trade, which don't get me wrong. Like I was hyped when we traded for Melo. Melo, my favorite player, but it's just like we had a good run last year. We can't give it up. You feel me? Because we gave up a lot of shit for Melo. Is somebody going to guard Jordan? I really hope we don't make that same mistake again, but hopefully we can get back on here in the next video and talk about how good the Knicks did. This will probably go well tomorrow, the day after the Knicks game. So hopefully we come back and talk about how they got the dough. I ain't gonna lie man i'm just hyped the nba is back if you hype for the nba make sure you like this video man now that we got the knicks out the way though we got to talk about these opening night games bro because these games was just 
I got a lot to say. I got a lot to say about these games, especially especially AD and KD. Boy, let me tell you, I got a bone to pick with y'all boys, all right? Because y'all y'all done did some dumb shit. So the first game of the night, obviously, was the Lakers playing the champs, the Nuggets. Now, I ain't gonna lie, bro. The Lakers, I thought, was going to do a little bit better. They was talking crazy all offseason. AD talking about, yeah, I'm ready. He signed that extension. You know, got his little bag, 62 mil a year. Like, that ain't no little bag. That's a crazy bag. He just got what Giannis got. Or Giannis just got what he got. Like, that's crazy. I'm sorry, but AD and Giannis is not on the same level. Like, Giannis is... As of right now, bro, Giannis is miles ahead of bro. Like, and I fuck with AD, but it's just he getting older. Injuries kind of like held him back in his career. He not producing what Giannis producing. So like, really, that was a waste of money. I'm just gonna keep it a bean with you. Anyways, though, they play Denver, and I ain't gonna lie, that boy LeBron needs some help. They are out here playing like a bunch of 75 overalls went to the wreck with 199 overall gold. I don't know what be going on with them. Like, what sets they be running? I don't know if it's Darvin Ham. Y'all gotta do something though Now look, I'm not really a big like plus minus numbers guy and all that shit But like bro, when LeBron was off the floor and AD was on It was like minus 19 That's crazy That's crazy because you getting 62 mil a year Like do something AD, do something Anything bro Like you scored zero points Bro, if they gave me 62 million Now look, I ain't gonna give y'all much I mean look, look at me I ain't giving y'all much but for 62 million, I get right. I get right for 62 a year. Boy, I I be out there dunking on everybody. I'm t I'm taking steroids. I'm taking Xanax. I'm I'm taking growth pills. I'm drinking mad milk. I'm going crazy. 62 mil a year, bro. Ain't no way. You just can't be having that type of performance. You know what I mean? LeBron's minutes are limited right now. They only playing, bro, like 26 minutes a game. Ain't no way the Lakers are winning any games with LeBron only playing 26 minutes. I'm just like, it's no way. It's just no way, though, that they win in any games and LeBron is only playing 26 minutes. How is LeBron the leading scorer and he played the least amount of time? Like, it's just... It's pathetic, bro. Y'all gotta help that boy. Like, he trying to get his fifth ring. Lakers gotta change some stuff around. Because the way they looking, they on track to have a bad year. I mean, D'Angelo Russell, that was a horrible re-sign. I would have never re-signed D'Angelo Russell. I don't know what y'all see in him. Austin Reeves, cool. They, they gotta figure something out, though, bro. And LeBron gonna have to play more minutes, for sure. And Jokic, Jokic was killing him, bro. Oh, my God. AD could not guard that man. I mean, Jokic gonna be Jokic no matter what. But, like, bro, play some type of defense. For locking on this game low key i ain't gonna lie i gotta design my jerseys and my stadium though because my shit looking rough and i got a bucks logo that gotta go come on get up out this timeout phil jackson what you talking to us for we trying to ball we don't fuck with you phil new york do not mess with you bro I don't, you only my coach because you an amethyst that's it we don't rock with you gango oh my god randall's not doing that randall can't if randall's not capable of doing that He's not athletic enough. On to the Suns game, though. I ain't going to lie. The Suns-Warriors game was crazy, bro. The Suns was going crazy in that first half. Like, them boys could not miss. Devin Booker was just getting whatever he wants. And I, me, personally, I'm not no Devin Booker fan. I'm just going to let that be known on the gate. I don't mess with Devin Booker. Like, he he eyed at basketball and shit, but he just talked too much. He be doing too much for somebody who never did nothing. Like, you never won nothing. You just never did nothing. And you be talking the most shit. You try to talk shit to Luka, and that boy cooked y'all. Like, talking that shit when y'all was up 2-0 in the finals, and Giannis came back and put his nuts on all y'all heads. Just win something first, then you could talk, you feel me? You can't. It shouldn't be the other way around. That boy Kevin Durant, KD. So let me tell y'all, so I had my prize picks joints going, right? I had KD over 28 and a half points. Now look, I ain't gonna lie, 28 and a half is a lot. So 29 points. Why bro go like six for 20? Like what you got going on, KD? Why you going six for 20? Let me see. Let me be exact. I ain't gonna lie, it's only a seven point game. We can still win this. KD went seven for 22, bro. How you miss 15? How you... Huh? I mean, 7 for 22, gang? You missed 15 of those hoes? 18 points. He only scored... He scored 14 or 13 in the first half, and then 5 in the second. But it was a good game, though. I ain't gonna lie. CP3 on the Warriors is a crazy fit, because a lot of people don't know, Steph Curry is a pure, like, shooting guard. Like, he could run point, obviously. Like, we all know that. 
I mean, they won four championships with him running point. As you can see, he liked to come off the screen and shoot that motherfucker. So with CP3 there, it's going to allow him to do that a lot more. I think once Draymond Green come back, though, they're going to bump him up out that starting lineup. So it's going to be interesting to see. But this season going to be lit for basketball, y'all. I'm hyped this back. Hopefully the Knicks go all the way. Knicks win a championship. We getting that tattoo on me. We going to post the wins and the losses, though. We don't know Meek Mill shit. You know what I'm saying? Wins and losses. Mama told me if you fool, never stay down. Let me know down below who y'all think is going to win the NBA Finals. Me, I got the Knicks, though. Like I just said, y'all know how we rocking. If y'all enjoyed, y'all know what to do, man. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. We're going to be talking NBA all season. These types of videos coming out all season. So in the comments, it'd be cool if we could have some discussions type shit. You feel me? And it's your boy Ant Live. Live in effect, we out.